for us, uh, the major challenge, is, as, as you said, is with our students being uh, younger ages, is to get in contact with all of the parents. Because uh, in order for us to reach our students, we really have to network and go through the parents because they pretty much have to be there, you know, to give the students the devices, use of the laptop, the cell phones, logging them in. So we had to make sure that we were able to reach out and make contact with those parents um, and share with them what their options were um, for their ch uh, children's learning and make it uh, and present it in a format that would be easy uh, for them to use at home with the students. While taking into the, uh, consideration that many parents were still working, you know, not everything shut down from day one. So many parents were, were still working and we wanted to be um, compassionate to our family's needs because at that time we didn't know uh, what situations our families um, and students um, were in and even our teachers as well. So we had to take time to, um, you know, try to ascertain that information, take that to, into consideration, find a balance um, to show that, of course, we care, you know, we, we put their health and safety first, um, but uh, wanted to keep that uh, flow of instruction going as well. Some of our thoughts are going towards uh, continuing the learning uh, for students through the summer um, because we, um, even prior to having to um, shut down due to the pandemic, we had students that were experiencing some difficulties or, you know, had some gaps. So we want to um, make sure that we're still addressing those and the district is offering summer school. Um, uh, through a virtual platform. And so um, we will be uh, sharing information and teachers have already started reaching out to parents uh, in regards to that. And then we've even started thinking about our, um, you know, option A, B, and C plans for coming back in August. Um, you know, in case we are not back to normal, what will that look like? You know, how will we make adjustments uh, for social distancing if that's still in place? How will we, um, you know, clean the building and materials effectively? Will we have to provide uh, gloves and masks for uh, teachers, students, and parents that come in? Uh, so just some of those things. Um, the uh, TEA and uh, the governor have been very good about, uh, we've been participating in, in various webinars and um, uh, meeting with district personnel on a very consistent basis. And so we're trying to, you know, stay on top of what the expectations will be moving forward and um, just trying to stay in front of that and not wait um, for that to be dictated to us that, you know, here's what you need to do, but already having a plan in place and ready to roll it out if that's the case and if, if that's what's needed. I wanted to say thank you to the parents as well for being a part of this with us and being open and understanding, patient, flexible, um, because truly it was a collaborative effort to you know, get all of this done and to make sure that the, the students still had some type of instruction going on because like, you know, it is, we're like in two months now where kids have not been in a physical school setting. Um, so I, I appreciate the parents and working with us um, for their, on behalf of their children.